Sarah from 17 once again, introducing you to my Batman Arkham City Hard Plus Difficulty video walkthrough. And this is the Penguin and the Solomon Grundy fight. So the first thing you notice there, when I was crouching I got away with it for two of the entrances and then he finally hit me. But don't worry too much about your life because this boss is very simple. The first bit you need to do here is you need to sneak up on Penguin and use the override device. Then you get to punch him in the face, which is really satisfying because it goes in all slow-mo. There you go. But nothing is ever that simple because then we get to fight with his massive henchman now. And this fight is easy. And the reason it's easy is because the checkpoints are so convenient and so very kind. You don't have to be, you know, super good at timing or super super effective you can be as messy as you want this boss fight is messy for me I get hit a lot but I still beat him and at the end of the day that's all you want to do you don't have to look too good you're not getting graded this is never a game that you're gonna have the most finesse in unless you're fighting a massive crew group of dudes and a lot of the boss fights are designed in such a way that they are kinda crappy but what you have to do for the the full full fight really is avoid the big guy and drop the plastic uh, drop the toothpaste explosives on the vents when you de destroy all three vents you can then beat him up you'll do this I think three times each time you do it it gets a little bit more challenging and um, like for instance now the vents will start opening up and closing so what you have to do is you, you lay your, your Batman toothpaste on them and then as soon as they open, that's when you detonate. So it's not much more difficult, but there's a lot of electricity that keeps coming out of the vents and making it a little bit more difficult than it needs to be. So you'll, you'll see yourself getting hit a lot by stupid stuff. And uh, he's swinging his balls now, so just be careful of those. You don't want to get touched by no man's balls. But completely ignore him. He'll jump at you. You can generally run away from him. Ignore those things on the floor. When you detonate your, your super toothpaste, that'll get rid of those as well. And as you see... Is a pretty pathetic fight. The, the third phase is when things actually get interesting, but it's only interesting because it's bullshit. And by bullshit, you get electrocuted a lot, so you can't get near the vents. And you're probably supposed to time it so when the electricity stops, but I'm so damn unimpatient, I kept running into it. Because that's just how I am. And it worked. I didn't die. And um, you can do the same. So that's what's important, really. But you think it's over, and it never is, because these big fellas don't know when to die. And that's one thing I'm really looking forward to Uncharted for, because Uncharted has a gift for using really interactive and uncanny camera angles. You get some really cool different perspectives when you play those games. And not many games are that brave, because generally whenever a game has you know, done some unconventional camera angle or something creative, it's generally been really shit and everybody's hated it, but Uncharted just seems to pull it off. So... That's the EMP pulse that he does. I've tried to roll through it. Sometimes it hits you, sometimes it don't, doesn't. I don't know if there's a, a perfect way of dodging it, but you'll notice I am taking damage. It's just so small, it doesn't really matter. So, doesn't bother me at all. I keep running into the shocks. I keep getting buzzed. Actually, I don't think it is damaging me. I think it's just like when you get... I don't know. Answers on a postcard. I don't think it does damage you, so... Be as reckless as you want, as long as he doesn't punch you and those stupid little slither bastards don't get you either. But yeah, that's that was a boss, apparently. That's that's a boss fight these days. <laughs> very, very simple. All you have to do is go up to him now and rip his heart out. Once you've done that, you'll get to fight Penguin one-on-one. -on -one. He's got a grenade launcher. All you have to do is run in a big circle that ends in his face and your fist and you've won. It's pretty much that simple. So... All the bosses with Batman are pretty much like this. They could be hard, but they're not. And if you find the pattern, they're generally pretty simple. The most challenging one is probably Raj Al Ghul guy, who, whose name is so bloody complicated, I'm probably just going to call him Jeff. But as soon as you get to Penguin, just punch him in the face until, you know, until he can't take it anymore. And there you go. Boss fight is done, people. So thanks for watching, and you take care now.